Hello, I'm Helen Cooper, author of The Downstairs Neighbour. It's just a short video today. I want to talk about being cruel to your characters. So that sounds quite sadistic, but what I've learned is that it's a really, really important part of being a writer. To create an engaging story, you have to put your characters through the mill. You have to take them to the worst possible places. Often in crime, which I write, I write psychological suspense, that does mean near death, it means um, physical violence perhaps, but it doesn't always have to mean that. Often it's about what is the worst possible thing that could happen to that specific character. So think about your character's main traits and what would be the worst thing that could happen to them? What would be the most upsetting thing, the most challenging thing? So if they're a huge family man, family person, then perhaps the threat of losing their family would be the worst possible thing. If they're a private character, then the threat of public humiliation or exposure or secrets being exposed, perhaps. Or if they're a very proud person, perhaps it's some kind of humiliation. So if you've set that up properly in the first place in terms of your character's traits and their personality, then when you plunge them into those darkest depths of despair, then it will be much more impactful because the readers will know them and they'll know how much this will hurt the character. But also, of course, you are tapping into universal fears. So things like fear of death, things like fear of loss, humiliation. These are things we can all um, imagine and that we all dread as well and that's a huge part of telling an engaging story that people can relate to. If you throw in fears that are very very remote from people's experiences and everyday lives then often they don't have the same impact I find as things that people could actually picture happening to themselves or their loved ones. And so then the book really, really resonates for them. The good news is that towards the end of the book, of course, you can choose to be a bit nicer to your characters and think about how they're going to get themselves out of this awful situation. And that's the key phrase there, get themselves out of it. The other thing that you have to make sure happens is that they are active in getting themselves out of their, their low point. So ideally, ideally they'll have been on a journey throughout the book that will now enable themselves to overcome all the horrific things that you've thrown at them. And then maybe at the end of the book, they'll forgive you for what you've put them through.